This is the men's highlights for day two of HSBC 7's Singapore. Australian player down this huge numbers for New Zealand and Dylan Collier will walk it in and this should seal the deal for New Zealand not only in this game but also book their place in the quarterfinals this evening. Dylan Collier on the end of it they were just fizzing the ball left and right really smart A little set play, isolated a defender with a ball and two hands. Martinez with the offload and the line break, and it's Ceres who gets the try. But a beautiful set play from Spain. Have a look how they isolated the defender. Oh, love it when a plan comes together. Ante Jova. Spain in search of a position in the top eight with the kick along the ground. It's going to be secure. Back to back tries. Saints top honour, it's the 10 points that they need. They go for the same option, it was Sefo who got up for France last time, it's Sefo who's got up again for France this time, it's there. The Dino has a lean in here, they come once more with Aaron Rondinia swapping sides up over the 22, through one through two, over the line, Aaron Rondinia in front, hit the front. Oh, that's two coming from the restart, South Africa committing far too many men in the air on those jumping pods. So not enough defenders on feet. Then just spreading, working hard through the tackle. Side entry. Legs wants to go, he has to go. Time's up. And they have got 95 to get there, but if there's a team that can do it, and if there's a man that can do it, it's Roscoe Speckman. Speck magic, Chase, Joseph, one way, the other, the ball is down, and South Africa's venture man, Dylan Sage. A spectacular finish to it. Barreto on clean up duty, three options to his left, and he fizzes it across the face of the US defense to Williams. Oh, and Morgan Williams! <laughs> Makes British hearts sore. They hit the front right as we head to the sheds. The Welshman skips out of one, skips out of two. Gets a very smart score for GB. Kevon Williams, now the ball with Cummings. Switcheroo coming thick and fast, and it's deft and delightful, and it brings the USA right back into the mix. It was nicely worked, patient work from the US attack. They really had to probe this GB defensive. GB worked well, but then they're passive on that last play. Got picked off on that inside pass. That cut to the inside ball is such a dangerous weapon. You'll see it all the time in sevens. You have to track that inside. GB didn't. USA get a score under the posts. No, 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 no. Osaku at first receiver. Salturanga. Osaku. He has support. It's long enough, Marcy. And it's a fourth try for Fiji. Right from the kickoff. Look at this. Brutal at the breakdown. That's a beautiful steer from Osaku. They go down the right hand edge and then from there, execution under pressure. Skills on point. The last pass, brilliant. And then Fiji. 
Tommy, well Tommy. Dummies and then goes on the angle run. Look at him go, little Terry. Veloa under the posts. He has brought his X Factor here. 19 all. Look at him go to work. He loves the dummy sells everyone. Hands on hips for the defense of the background and he gets a double in this match. to the line, inside ball, a little show and go! And it's going to be Blower who created the second try and gets the third one. What a start, Great Britain! Great Britain to the right edge, and they've got a chance. Timor beaten on the inside, a lovely right foot step. Beautiful right foot step from McFarlane to get rid of Timor and the next defender. Max McFarlane, two right foot steps, puts the right hand down and takes it all the way to the house. On the ground. Ferguson, right foot step. A floor on the inside. Another fabulous try. Full of skill, full of class. Well, they've come in with a plan and they've executed it. Kicks it through and oh, just look at the pace of Jordan Kilroy. The gather is delayed. And it's drop your popcorn stuff from the Irishman. Well, Conroy's come back. And it's knocked on. Scrum advantage for Ireland to play with. Oh, and he couldn't stop the man he was chasing down a little bit earlier on. And O'Sullivan rips it, flips it, and Terry Kennedy will streak away. <laughs> and Ireland will not relinquish this opportunity without an almighty fight. And of course. It's the man, TK. And I tell you what, this is a smart call. Give it to the man outside you. It's Terry Kennedy. Brooks. Daring to dream, perhaps, of a first league win. And oh, look at that! <laughs> Billy Dardis, fresh onto the field and scorching over the whitewash. Will Carter, nominee for World Rugby Player of the Year, one of New Zealand's best last year. Step, step, Ben Young and Ruffle. Harvey Black with his fancy footwork on the switch from Nashu. He's quick and fast and he's physical. Tony Nashu had his impact off the bench of the Kiwis. Well, Ricky, at half time, you pointed to the sub sheet. And one of the names you pointed to was Tony Nashu. And this is why. Look at the determination on him. He wants it. He's not about to go lying down. It's all gold jerseys at the moment. Sergeant. Stays in field cleverly. Six metres out. Maloof. Dowling, he's got loads of space to work with. Roach. Roach has got Lawson with him. Holds on. Gives it. And Australia score again. They turn it over in the line out. And then they're almost perfect with the ball in hand. Every single person had a bit to play. Davids at pace on the boil is Nokia. Time for the restart. Flags are up. Yeah, did so well with so patient South Africa. Look at what it means. Hansiana. Take the set piece, but tap and go is the plan. Well, yeah, don't kick to the sideline for the line out. Here's Nick Maloof, the captain. Up over the halfway line, cover coming across, but they won't catch him. Nick Mullen wins it for Australia and puts the Aussie Sevens into a cup semi-final in Singapore.